that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. Oh my freaking God, what is wrong with this government? Can they not listen to any rules whatsoever? There is something seriously wrong with this fucking government. Mm, excuse my language. Okay, context. Several years ago, huge uproar. Liberal government screaming at the top of their lungs because Harper agreed to allow some... <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> Harper agreed to allow some, uh, some uh, what are they called, uh, armored vehicles to be uh, sold to Saudi Arabia. Now, the huge uproar was, oh, these are going to be used in military actions uh, because Saudi Arabia was at war with Yemen or something like that. <sighs> well, the whole point of the argument for the government or liberals back then was that they oh god mail 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 nothing about bills that they couldn't do that because under Canadian law they cannot sell any military assets that can be used in an act of war Arnand, Minister Arnand, Arnand, I don't know, whatever his name is, um, A-R-N-A-D, I do believe it was, Arnad, uh, uh, whatever, he just announced the new Ukrainian training program in London, England, but he also announced that the government of Canada and the London-based Dy global dynamics or something like that the ones that build those uh, those armored vehicles to deliver to build vehicles for the Ukrainian army to defend against Russia it's an act of war they're supplying arms in an act of war that is against our laws we are not allowed to do that we are a peace nation did you forget that part when you were announcing that we were back at the UN saying that, hey, we are the peacekeepers of the world. This is what Canada is. This is what Canada was built on. This is what Canada believes in. And yet you throw that away to support an illegal war. I have no malice towards the Ukrainians. But I have serious malice to our government following its own rules. Welcome to the fringe.